hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be showing you my makeup tutorial for this look and i'm applying my primer by thomas um peter thomas roth <laughs> this is a one take um voiceover so there will be mistakes but it's okay and after that i'll apply my baby skin by maybelline and it's amazing i just do it on my t-zone um, where I have pores and it really, really works, guys. It covers all of your pores. You can pretend you don't care. All you wanna do is kiss me. Oh, what a shame I'm not there. Just make sure you blend it. I did an eyebrow tutorial actually that you guys should go watch before or after this video. Now I'm actually just priming my lid with my Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm not going to be telling you the colors that I use, but I'll show you because it will be easier for me since I don't have the palettes with me. But yeah, I'm just using my palette by Juvia's Please, and I love this palette so much. And make sure you blend all of the colors real well so you don't see a line in between them. After that, I'll take my Morphe palette, I forgot which Morphe palette this is, and I'll take an orange shade, a darker orange, and I'll apply it all over my crease line, not above my crease like I did the pink because I want to see a transition in there. I love seeing transition into um, in between all the different shades. Then I'll take that yellow from the Morphe palette, and it's not that pigmented, and it didn't really do anything, but I still used it, and I guess I'll have to show you since I used it. And I'll apply it a little bit underneath the orange, and then I'm just going to cut my crease with my shape tape. Cutting my crease with this brush was horrible. I switched brushes, I just didn't show you. And I'm really tired, I'm like falling asleep. After that, I'll take the purple from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm gonna pack it on, on the outer corner of my eyes and blend it inwards into the crease and leave space, um, open space on the concealer because you wanna add this really pretty pink from one of my Ofra palettes. I don't know the name of it, but it's so pretty. And you don't need to use the same palettes as I'm using, just make sure you use similar colors and blend them really well like I'm doing here. After that, I'm going to take back my palette from Juvia's Place and I'm going to highlight with a white color because it's beautiful. I'm highlighting my eyes right now. And as you see, it's very pigmented. This is a Saharan palette, by the way. I'll put all the products in the description. Yeah, go to the description for every single product that I used. And I'm gonna use the good old, good old fashioned, what? Good old Maybelline on the shade three, three something. I can't really see, but you'll see it. And it's a little dark. It's my summer shade, but it oxidizes a little bit and it gets lighter. Plus, I'll mix it with my concealer, so don't worry. Um, I'm still in between my summer shade and my winter shade, so it doesn't look that bad. And I'm applying it with my Real Techniques brush, and I love this brush so much. It blends so, so nice for a brush. And then with my Real Techniques sponge, I'm going to blend it even farther. And you all know what I'm doing here. I'm applying my Shape Tape Concealer to highlight and to cover up my dark circles because they're dark. I literally get no sleep. But that's for another video. <laughs> I usually don't do this much makeup, I just use like concealer every day, which is why this concealer is like gun. But just for the sake of this tutorial, you know, I'll go all in. 
Then I'm gonna take my CoverGirl powder that I've had for like four years. Not the same one, but I've used the same brand for like four years, the same one. Um, and I'm gonna bake. This powder is really nice. It doesn't really have flashback or anything, so I love it. How are you liking my tired voice, by the way? <laughs> this is a non-edited voiceover. It's cringy. Now I'm going to use my LA Colors Contour. And it's really cheap, but it's really good. I really love it. And I'm just going to bronze out my face. I'm not really contouring contouring because you know how contouring works. This is just bronzing out my face. Then I'm grabbing my blush palette from Ofra and I swear Ofra is amazing. I love this brand so much already. I'm just putting the blush all over my cheeks, you know, the lightest shade though because I don't want to look like a clown. And my Ofra highlighter which I broke obviously, I break every highlighter. Look how amazing this is, this is blinding. This is the definition of a blinding highlight. Now I'm getting ready to apply my lip, my lips and stuff, but I'm wiping off my foundation first and I'm putting my lip balm on and my mascara was done. I mean my eyelashes were done off camera because that was tragic <laughs> and now you just gotta put on all your pink and purples that you used on your lid and your crease on your water, on your, not on your waterline, on your lash line and blend them and that'll smoke out your lower lash line. And now I'm taking a pink Kylie lipstick. I don't know the shade. Like, I don't know anything, okay? <laughs> and I'm mixing it with a dark red to make my perfect nude color for my lips. Because my lips are not quite pink or, like, brown or anything. They're just a weird color, so I had to mix. And then I topped it off with a clear lip gloss. And this was all for my makeup. Enjoy, and please Read the description for the products and for my social media.